So not to stop there, you end up coaching Coleman yep. in the Olympics mm -hmm. to the bronze medal. He's obviously the head coach at right. UNC. Right. And you got Coleman, you got Gary Wayne, and you got J.O. here. Yep. Um, full circle yep. with that, but, but again, not just with your kids, not just with not just not just your career. You're 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 putting that back into work with with Oliver, and and you put that back into work with Jo, and, and continue to coach some of those guys. Talk about that. Well, again, it's just um, just opportunity, opportunity presented itself, and I went back to Oklahoma State to be the, the club coach back in twenty it was twenty twenty ten, and uh, Coleman was was competing, trying to make the world team, and Olympics was in. 2012 coming up in two years and so uh, me and John Smith got together and John was coaching and uh, we, we started talking about me coming there uh, to be the club coach so we worked out a deal and went back to Oklahoma State uh, after being in Texas coaching and coaching kids for 10 years went back to Oklahoma State and um, got with uh, started co coaching Coleman and I saw I saw potential I mean Coleman was of course he's had a great College career, and I'm like, man, this guy can he can make this team in 20. Kind of real European style to him yeah. that, that that a lot of college wrestlers didn't have, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I saw. I mean, I saw the um, the I saw the potential. I knew he could make the team, um, and I knew he could medal if we got to that next level. Um, and so, just it was it was really um, it was it was fun. And it was uh, it was exciting to be able to coach him and, and, and really help him get to that next level. To be able to uh, to really be good enough to win Olympic gold, I mean, he was good enough to win Olympic gold. Didn't end up losing a match, but and getting a bronze. But he was good enough to win gold. He was, and he was wrestling good enough to win gold. Um, so that was that was fun. That was kind of me and Cole, Coleman's um, um, history about. That's how we got close and coaching him, and, and, and just exciting to, to. And I knew that that would change his life. Uh, I don't think he would be here without that that bronze medal. But then it also got him a chance to be around my family. That's how him and Kennedy got to. He coached Kennedy and Quincy when he was a club coach uh, in Stillwater. So he got to get to know the boys. And so that kind of built that relationship. And so when he got the head coach job here, that kind of helped him to kind of recruit Kennedy here, right? And so uh, he told me if, that if he got the job, he wanted me to come here and be his club coach here. So that's kind of how it kind of played out. And you were actually with the Black Zillions for a little bit too. Yep, you yep, got after, into MMA, MMA for yep, a little yep, bit. After I coached Coleman in the Olympics in 2012, I had an opportunity to go to Florida. The guys approached me and, and, and uh, kind of made an offer. It was kind of hard to refuse. And so um, I went and did that for a year and then can't actually came back. And then by, and two years after that, Coleman, uh, I think he tried out, he tried out for 2016. And then... Uh, yeah, yeah. So then we came, I came back to Texas after that. Coleman got the job here, and um, and then so he asked me to come here and be his club coach, RTC coach here. And now, now when I went back, when I of course when I was at Oklahoma State, Jordan Oliver right. was a was a he was finishing up his freshman year. So he was a sophomore. So I was I was around Jordan for three years at Oklahoma State. I got to coach him and be around him and watch him grow and and, and uh, win two national titles. And so that was kind of our our relationship grew from that. And then so um, now having him come here to, to UNC to strive to, to, to make this Olympic team and be an Olympic champion is just kind of full circle, man. It's, um, because it's funny because when he was on the team and Coleman was coaching, I'm coaching Coleman, and then Oliver, it was, they were training partners, right? But it was helping Coleman to make that team. Right. And, and so now, reverse that, now so Coleman's trying to help Oliver to make the team. So it's really a... It's really just a, a great, uh, great story. It's, it's a great environment. I'm, I'm happy and thrilled to be a part of both of their lives and, and kind of help them to um, reach that. that uh, what's dream the of different champion? Yeah. What's the different satisfaction level from a athlete accomplishing his dreams and goals, and then watching an athlete that you coach accomplish their dreams and goals? You know, it's uh, it's probably a little more nerve wracking than because you, know, you can't you can't wrestle for them, right? I'm like, man, I can't. Yeah, you know, for me, my nerves are, are, are pretty good, you know, because I I'm controlling the situation right here. I can coach him, I can give him my experience and give him my my knowledge and, and, and train him, but I can't wrestle the match for him. I can't get out there and wrestle for him. That's that's kind of nerve wracking, but it's uh, 
it's very gratifying, man. It's gratifying to uh, to be able to to, to watch them uh, reach their lifelong dreams and and, uh, and help them and give back. You know, that's that's really the biggest part of me is my success um, is that ability to give back and, and reinvest in, into uh, the young guys of America you know, coming up and, and just be um, someone that they can they can um, you know they can depend on you know, for that experience you know and so it's uh, it's great to be an American man it's great to be able to help uh, our, our, our future Olympians and the future guys to go out and represent the United States of America and uh, so it's a lot of pride it's a lot of pride that's, that's wrapped up in that man and, and I see these guys that uh, given of what I got as a kid growing up good